College Professional Development Associates. My name is Michelle. I'm Cody. And I'm Alexis. So we work in the PDC or the Professional Development Center and we've been trained in resume, cover letter, and career advice. So the reason you're watching this video is you have been accepted to the Eller College of Management. Congratulations. But some element of your application may not have been up to par. So we're here to help you work through some of the problems of your resume, cover letter, or interview skills and help boost you up to the next level so you're really competitive when it comes to jobs and interviews. Welcome to the resume workshop. I'm going to be going over resumes a little more in detail. Resumes are one of the most important things that you'll be doing through your college career. Um, it's one of the first times that employers have a chance to kind of look at you and it's a, point, it's a chance to put all of your experiences and everything that you've done on, in college on paper. Um, I'm going to go over one that we have right here. Um, this one needs a little bit more improvement. Um, there's a lot of white space as you see. Um, we could widen the margins a little bit so you can fill a little more content on the page. Typically a resume in our point in our life is one page. You should try to fit everything that's most important to you and that will apply to the job that you want on one page. Um, as you can see this resume right here is two pages. Education. We should make sure that education always goes first. It's one of the most important things so that the employer can find a little more about your major and also um, your field of study and such. And then next, after your education, we would want to go through your experiences. Um, on this example, they decided to write out things more in an essay form. We're going to do it more in a bullet form. That will simplify it a little more, and it will make the employer want to read it a little more. Okay, so that's just one example of a resume that needs improvement. Um, I've got two more here. So this one needs improvement because of the structuring and the formatting of it. We would like to get rid of this white space. Um, it'll really help get rid of all of the centering of it. It'll really help expand all the words more. One key element with this resume that I had to cover up to hide the, who it was written by um, was the link was actually in blue and highlighted. It's easily done when you press enter after entering your email. You can easily get rid of this hyperlink by um, right clicking and editing the hyperlink. In that you'll say remove hyperlink and you won't have to worry about it ever again. The next resume I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that needs improvement um, is just it's a little too um, vague. I would like to you know enhance the opportunities and um, experiences that they did just a little more. Um, it says in charge of to-go orders. Um, that's something that I would maybe talk about a leadership skill or something that um, they were in charge of the to-go orders so why don't you talk about how you managed and coordinated um, to-go systems or something like that with your employers. This is an opportunity to really tell the employer what you did in your college career, what you did in your job. It's really important to um, get that across so that they don't have to ask you as many questions about it. So now I'm going to go over some resumes that some Eller students have done and also some of the Eller professionals have written for us. So I have four different examples here. Um, we have one by Wilma Wildcat, um, this one's a little more in-depth. Um, it's definitely more of a technical type uh, resume for an MIS student, accounting, finance. Um, it's more, more listed out. Um, as you can see, they um, separated professional experience and leadership experience. Um, you could do that, or um, we have a few resumes where um, experience is all under one. So this is John Wildcat's resume, the one that you've probably seen in the sample um, admissions packet that you have. It, writing a resume, this is a good start to kind of start off with your resume right now in your college career. Um, you don't have to necessarily put two addresses, it's just um, if you want to show diversity that you were um, lived in one area now that you live in somewhere else. Um, as you can see, we start off every bullet point with an action word. Um, supervise, facilitate, motivate, coordinated. This is really important because it, sh it shows those skills that we want to show. Um, we wouldn't necessarily put under skills right over here um, customer service or something like that. We want to show those all through our experiences on the resume. Um, it's really important to make sure if you're in the present tense to write in present tense. Um, supervise. When you're in the past tense, make sure you write in past tense so it would be supervised. Um, this is small details that employers really look at. So now I'm going to go over a uh, marketing student's uh, resume. Um, she kind of targeted this more for a creative type job, um, product manager, um, marketing jobs, ad agencies and such. She put her education still up top in the front. She put her skills because she thought that was one of the most important things to highlight to employers was her skills. 
Um, then we also went through all the other ex experiences. Um, she went ahead and put all of her leadership skills, and then she definitely highlighted all of her awards. Um, when I was talking about awards, it's really important to talk about your awards. If you don't have necessarily more than one or two awards, there's no need to list awards. Um, you don't have to necessarily have a ton right now. Just make sure you focus on getting awards and more experiences throughout your college career. Next, here's my resume a little bit, and I just, um, it's a little more technical and modern at the same time, so I just was, experiences were really important to me in the job I was applying to. It's all about targeting your resume to the job that you're applying to. Thanks for listening to me. I hope it was helpful. Um, we're going to list our office hours at the end of the video, and I hope that you come in and um, ask some questions and get some help. Just remember that a resume is one of the most important aspects to obtaining a job or getting into Eller. Um, it's really important. It's the first thing that interviewers look at. So have a good day.